Hi everybody, it's Sam here. I just wanted to quickly do a video showing you how to make envelopes without using an envelope punch board or any of those devices to do them for you. You can do them by hand. I get asked this a lot. I have briefly showed it before during live videos or just doing other demos on, you know, for other companies, but I thought I would have a video here and I'll also talk about my bouncy envelopes, which lots of you hear me mention as well, and I'll just show you what that means. This is the paper that I tend to buy when I make for making envelopes. So this is a paper, it's 12 by 12, it's by Dovecraft, you get 48 sheets, lots of colours so it's nice to be able to match them to the card that you've made. And it's 120 GSM which is a really nice weight to make your envelopes. So I've got these two cards here, this one actually I'm not going to be giving to anybody but I just thought it's a good example because this is a 5 by 7, this is a 6 by 6 but the, the way that you do it works, it doesn't matter what size card you have. So once you see how to do it it's very easy and I'm sure you'll be able to adapt it to your card sizes but I thought I'd just use these two here just to use as examples. So I'm just going to select my paper for each of these. So first I'll do the 5 by 7 So you want to work out the size of the paper that you need to cut first to fit your card. And in order to do that, whatever size card you have, you want to just measure from the point to point. So bottom left to top right or vice versa. It could be top left down to bottom right. But as long as you go across on the diagonal and measure in inches or in centimetres, it's entirely up to you. So mine here is it's telling me this five by seven across here is eight and five eighths of an inch. Now you then want to add another inch onto that. So my piece here, I'm going to cut to nine and five eighths of an inch. So whatever your measurement here, so if I do this in centimeters, so it's telling me it's 22. So I would then add on two and a half. Inch. You would want to cut a piece of paper to 24 and a half by 24 and a half. And in inches, I'm going to cut my paper to nine and five eighths by nine and five eighths. Okay, so I've just cut that down to size and then I'm just going to flip it over because I want the colour on the outside. And I'm going to bring my card back in. Make sure you have it in a diamond shape like so. And you now want to just sit this card in the middle, making sure, you can use a ruler if you want, but you want to roughly get the same kind of gap here. Yeah, it's about right. Remember, this is homemade doing it this way, or handmade doing it this way, so don't worry if it's a little bit out, but I'm pretty happy with that. I think that's kind of good. And then you want to start bringing up each side. So first of all, I'm going to bring up the bottom, and I'm just going to bring it up. Now, this is what I would call making a bouncy envelope as well, is that I'm folding it up around the card. Now, I make bouncy envelopes when I've got dimension on the cards, which I do on this one. It just means that you are making this envelope to fit around the dimension of the card. And then when you take the card out, it's got a bouncy feel to it. That's all it is. So I'm just going to roughly fold that over and then I'm going to burnish it, just move the card away so you don't squash your card. OK, now I can pop that back in there. And then I'm going to do the opposite side. So again, just make sure you get it back into place. And then I'm going to bring down this one here. And again, just make sure you get your point nice and kind of centered here. And again, just lightly burnish it. If it's just a flat card, then just you know push down straight away, really. But I'm just going to go a bit careful. And then I'm going to pop that back in there again. So now we can see we've got the bottom and the top of the envelope and then if you pop it on its side you're then going to just I like to just kind of push with my nail up to the card there and then bring up this one over and again just lightly kind of push that in place I'm going to do this opposite side at the same time so just kind of you're just starting off the fold really by pushing those sides in and just bring that over and don't pull it right up to the card do give there do give it a little bit of room I can see now roughly where those need to be. So I can take this all out, fold that back in, and just burnish that one. Now when you open it up, you'll have these little triangles in each corner. You can snip these away really easily, just cut down like so, and like so. And then if you want to round that off just to tidy it off, you can do just like so. So I'm just going to do that on each of the corners. Okay, so now you can see that envelope shape coming together. Next, I'm going to fold the side pieces back in. 
and when you lay this down you can kind of see underneath how much space you've got to be able to add some adhesive so I'm just going to grab my double sided tape here and hug the outer side of that piece this is about half an inch it's just over a centimeter and then I'm just going to take the backing off and again to get that bouncy envelope put the card back in now this is only if you've got dimension remember and bring it around and then close it just make sure you clip the bottom in there and then when you take it out there's that bounce it just means the card's going to fit really nicely in that envelope if you don't want to make a box envelope I do have them on the channel and I'll link them in this tutorial and I do also have the tutorial to make envelopes using punch boards as well if you do want to use that but now all you need to do is add your tape there and that is all ready to go you can see there you've got a really nice five by seven envelope but remember you can make it any size just following that process so I'm going to do it one more time with the six by six so again with the six by six one I'm going to measure from the bottom left up to the top so let's do it this side because I've got the butterflies there so it's eight and a half bang on so I'm going to cut a piece of nine and a half remember to add that extra inch and if it's centimeters you want to add two and a half centimeters so this is coming in at 21 and a half so you would want to cut your piece of paper to 24 by 24 centimeters and again if it's inches it's going to be nine and a half by nine and a half and again I'm just going to flip that piece over bring my card in and you want to just make sure you get that equal kind of gap here make sure the card's nice and straight I'm going to need to come down that way a little bit there we go and this has got dimension in it if, I, if you haven't seen this card this is the inside of this one it's absolutely beautiful so it does have a bit of dimension on that right hand side so again I'm just going to get that lined up and then I'm going to bring this one up roughly crease it move the card away and then you can just really enforce those creases and again with that one pop it back in push in the sides there and again with that one and then take that all out crease those ones a bit better like so and you'll see here actually so this is a good example so don't worry if you do go off can you see my triangles on the bottom here are much bigger than the ones up here but it's still all going to close so just as long as you do have those little triangle pieces on each corner it's going to be fine so again I'm just going to remove those and then again just grab your tape check that you've gotten you know that the piece that you're bringing up from the bottom is going to cover your tape so you might want to use a thinner tape Take the backing off and again I'm going to place my card inside the envelope kind of tack the middle there down it's got that room for the card so it's not squashing anything and then just bring up the sides and again you can take that out really easily it's got the bounce so it's going to be able to fit the dimension of that card and then you just need to pop your tape on the top and that is all ready for you to post so that's just two examples using a 5x7 and a 6x6 card. Like I said, you can make this for any size cards that you have. Just follow that process and just remember to add either one inch or two and a half centimetres and you're good to go. So I hope you found this informative for those that wanted this video and I'll be back in very soon with more tutorials. Bye.